I'm Lois Frazier, Lois Haverman Frazier. I'm Catherine Haverman Netherton. Elsie Haverman Murphy. What's your first memory of coming here? Do you have a first memory yeah, something stands out? It was pretty. It was a lovely country town. And it was a beautiful walk over to Fair Oaks any time. And, and what about yours? It was wooded where we were on the yeah. corner of, uh, of uh, Pencil, uh, Pennsylvania and, and Magnolia and all that bluff. Well, we used to tumble down the bluff. It was all right. wooded sure, flowers, sure. whatever. Yeah. And Lois? What, what a you... lot of poison oak <laughs> <laughs> and um, the wildflowers I think were, were important and they were right all around us in the bluff areas. What brought your parents here? The orange trees and then we had the big trees. That was just a year later wasn't it? <laughs> yes, same year. Same well, year. Yeah, same well, year. Year. Year later. No, uh -huh. yeah. But they used to have a church service on the, the bluff. Good and day. they even brought an organ up on a truck, and that I think is one of the uh, well, one of the first. Yeah, the sunrise service is out on the bluff. Sunrise oh, service right? is on Easter. Is that right? Was that with the Federated Church? Or? That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, Federated Church. Uh huh. And she was married from the Federated Church. Oh, were you? That's yeah. where Wells Fargo is now. Uh huh. Uh huh. And was that kind of a center of the social life of town, the church there? Well, it was for us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was about all we had, other than the high school, grammar school and high school. Sure. Uh, and then just working in the fruit and stuff in the summer was uh -huh. important. Uh -huh. Sure. And up, until, yeah, uh -huh. up until 64, 63, we had, uh, my husband was raising 5,500 chickens right there on the boat, right where I am now. Wow. And where are you at now? Right on Magnolia and oh, right on that's right. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just walk right down to the river. Okay. Was the river a big attraction for you as, as young girls growing it, up? It was. That's that's where we swam, picnic, barbecued, or whatever. Well, we didn't call it barbecuing then. <laughs> <laughs> but the river was very important. Very low in the summer. Uh huh. Uh huh. And what was going to school like here? For were, were there just the three of you sisters? No, we had two more. Two more, two more. sisters. Okay. One went with. Uh, we all went through grammar school and then San Juan. Except uh -huh. right me. Uh -huh. I was she already over. <laughs> oh, were you? <laughs> um, and we all went to, we walked to school. Did you? Uh -huh. Rather than uh -huh. take the bus. Uh -huh. They did have a bus. Uh -huh. I mean, of course, we were bus to um, San Juan. Uh -huh. <laughs> Green. A, lot, a lot of people I talk to, I've only been here a dozen years, but a lot of people talk about today about so glad we have the village. What was the village like then uh, in those days? Well, well, the stores were there. It was just the same as Where it is now. Fine Gold really. was a drugstore. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Had a social center, a collection of kids. and. We could get the best milkshake for 10 cents at the drugstore where Fine Gold's in. <laughs> My oldest son, who would be 65 now, he used to work there after school. And uh, then he, they have two straws in one milkshake. That's that were right. Pretty good. <laughs> so, anyhow. But the bus, what was interesting, one thing that was interesting when we went to San Juan, we had to ride the bus there, and the bus uh, that we rode. Uh, had a, uh, a route that took us all the way into um, Del Paso Country Club, mm. past mm. Watt. Wow. So that was a long bus ride. Yeah, and when my husband graduated from San Juan, there were 80, 80, I think he said 80 pupils in the graduating class from San Juan High School. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Because my, my, my husband came out here in 1920. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He came out here 10 years. Uh -huh. So anyway. It's a nice place, yeah. was a nice place, is a nice place. Yeah, yeah what keeps you here? What, what, Absolutely. What, yeah. It's sure changed an awful lot in your lifetimes. Uh, not too much around our way. Our area, no. and I still got that cornering. It's uh -huh. still nice. If you, on to that. you just take Pennsylvania and Magnolia Corner. Uh -huh. I still have all that uh -huh. no yeah. Riding into town for uh, to work is certainly different now. Uh -huh. Sure, sure. I don't live in West, I'm in West Sacramento right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, yeah. end, of, end, of, end of interview. Good. <laughs> that sounds like an appropriate time. Thank oh, you, ladies. turned it off.